So I, I get this all the time, okay? I'm stuck at XXX eye level. What do I do now? How do I get out of T1, T2, into T2 or T3? I just hit 50. What do I do? Let's start off with this. I just hit 50. What do I do? Because this is for like a new newbies. Uh, you just hit 50. Just hit 50. What now? Um, you got two choices. Two choices. You can either go finish Shusha, finish Shusha, get a 3 2 set. And if you just want to get into end game right now, do this, do this. And then you can start doing uh, Chaos Dungeons and Guardian Raids. And then get to 340, like hone. And then do Vern Abyss. And it's really fun. You'll enjoy it, okay? Now, if you want to skip that Shushai part, if you're going to be like Mega Min Maxi, I recommend you check out Follow Choi's Speed Run to T3 Guide. It's really, really good. I've followed it. And I'll post that in the description, okay? And there's another one. If you want to double check all the islands, there's another website. There's this one too. This is a really good guide, this Google Doc. I'm gonna link those two in the description and you can check them out, okay? So that's what you do. You just hit 50, get as high as you can. After you've done all the islands, should be about, what? 540-ish, 500 540-ish. Use your power passes. Use your power passes on alts, okay? And then get those to 340. Start doing dailies, etc. Check out my daily video, okay? Check out what to do with alts, what to do with dailies, etc, etc. For the people that are 500, 580 and you're stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What now, boys? What now? You've done all your islands. You've done all islands. You got you got a couple options, okay? You're probably low on some shards or something. I don't know. You can do, you can do rehandle dungeons on hard. That gives a lot of, gives a lot of army shards. But if you did hard already, should I do normal again? Uh, normal gives destruction, weapon, armor frags, plus sleep zone. Okay, the other thing is, the other thing is, you also have tower. So tower, this is where getting an alt up is important. Tower, do it on an alt first, as far as you can. It's really cheap to get to like, what? Three, I don't know, maybe 360-ish, maybe 360 to 400. If you can get there, if not, it's okay. Even at like 340, you can do, you can do the first 10 levels or so and that's a lot of mats then do it on your main gives a lot of instants gives a lot of mats other thing is infinite chaos infinite chaos more mats army shards upgrade mats etc it's also what is it i mean make sure you're doing all your other dailies right do your unas do your unas proc and compass stuff chaos gate for map rotations to get gold to buy mats maybe if you want because mats are getting cheaper getting very cheap very cheap there's also am i missing something there's also marie shop this is marie shop marie shop optional compare the market price to see if it's worth this is, if you have a lot of crystal then it's good you can use that as well it's usually worth for harmony shots harmony shots are always worth heaps and this honestly this applies for also applies for 10,000 to 10.99 i feel like there's something i'm missing Pirate Coin Vendor, thank you. Pirate Coin Vendor. Pirate Coin Vendor is weekly. Uh, convert Gianna, convert Sun Coins, Sun Coins into Pirate Coins. It's the highest ratio conversion you can do and you can get mats, you can get mats. But these are unbound, so you could sell this. It really, that's, this is a big money in T3, by the way. Okay, big money in T3, the Pirate Coin Vendor. So think about that before you drop all your coins. Also, careful, save coins, Gianna, for Giant Hearts, okay? If you need it, plus island token or soul, whatever you call it. Soul? <laughs> what do they call it then? If you're wondering where to get more pirate coins or Gianna coins or all the other coins, make sure you look into your calendar and look at look at the sailing section. Co-op sailing voyages where you get coins and you get keys of wisdom or keys of harmony. And then you go to these events every couple of days. And you get more coins, uh, pirate coins, and you get sea maps that give gold and materials and all that stuff. So check that out too. Okay, true. Guild shop vendor. If you have a guild, if you don't, search. Uh, you can buy mats from here too. Probably the first thing you probably have to buy is get the uh, the boss rush token, boss rush ticket, cube ticket. It's RNG, so you might not get it. Okay. And also later on, if you're watching this video later and the PVP vendor comes out, you got the PVP vendor. Okay. So do some PVP. Also gives a lot of mats. And I think that's it. But that's this is a lot of content, guys. Okay. Even if you did all the islands. Now for the people specifically, ten T2 people, T2 people. Double check Azure Wind Island. Do Shangra, okay? Make sure you do Shangra Island. Do you harm the island? Good point, good point. So Shangra, Shangra. So this spawns on a timer. Make sure you find out where it is. Go there, you get some wine. Uh, when you get the wine, you go back to Azure Wind Island. You go, the, you go up here, the top left. Talk to the egg, a lot of maps from that. And then you have to go back to Shangra. And also look out for Harmony Island. Harmony Island, now you might get unlucky, but if you get the song from Harmony Island, you can you can completely complete the Azure Wind quest line, okay? 
and you get a lot, a lot of mats from that. I got so many mats from this island. Uh, we'll link uh, Yane's guide on uh, Max Roll. Check that out, okay? I followed that. So good, okay? And I think that's mostly it. I can't think of anything else. What else? What did I do? Infinite Chaos. I used Marie Shop. Do Shrunga for Wine. Then go back. Complete. Do Harmony Island for the song. Fully complete quest line. Many hidden quests, okay? Many hidden quests. Make sure you do them all. This might be hard. Get another alt into T2 and also do the tower strat. Do tower on alt, then do tower on main. As far as you can, okay? Do the tower as far as you can on your alt to what you think is uh, acceptable to what you can spend. So a few things I forgot to cover, guys. The Phaeton and Yawn story dungeons. If you do them on hard and normal, they also give a bunch of upgrade materials, uh, extra uh, life shards and leap zones. So make sure you do those. And also double check your welcome challenge. I'd be very surprised if you haven't checked it already, but double check your welcome challenge to see all the extra materials that you can get from there as well. In tier two, you can start doing the anguished isle dailies and start farming the keys. And the keys, once you get to tier three, you can actually start doing the dungeon on that island and you can get a lot of uh, leap stones for your tier two alts to catch them up. It's also very essential for farming Omnium, the Omnium star there. Okay, you want to reroll. Okay, this is my biggest, okay. You're close to tier two slash tier three and you want to reroll. Reroll. Should you? Listen, okay, if you're really close, if you're like, if you have already invested a lot, keep pushing, okay? Keep pushing, keep pushing to the next tier. Why? Why? For research, for the catch up research. 20% increase success chance and 20% reduction in, in shard cost, okay? It's huge. Just keep pushing, okay? When your alt is in the next tier, they can farm mats for your new main, okay? I recommend just at least do this. If you're really close and you've already done all the islands, keep pushing, may as well. Oh, it's gonna take far longer, okay? I think I've covered everything. Bonus question from the chat. My class isn't out. Should I do anything in particular? Nah, just keep pushing. <laughs> Current characters make you money, mats, okay? That's it. Bada bing, bada boom. Are moon breaths worth it? Other upgrade mats? In T1, T2, use at your discretion from 13 to 15. That's like the most crucial time. That's the most crucial time. Uh, prioritize the weapon. Usually 14 plus is most effective. Okay. My opinion anyway. Should I be doing stronghold? What are the benefits? So the bare minimum is just log on every day. Do your ship dispatches as much as possible. Always be researching. Always be researching. Uh, if you can afford it, craft items for XP. What does it lead to? Life skill notes on a state on your stronghold. Estate was a Korean server name. Uh, what else? Pet farm, eventually. Eventually. Essential. It's really, it's really important. Uh, you get like, you farm these pet tokens, you get additional inventory slots, you get cosmetics, you can make your pets legendary. Pets are not useless, okay? More the better, okay? Because you can rotate them. You can rotate them on your pet farm. Also, what is there? Alt XP training. So you can level up your alts while you're offline. Good crafting recipes. Saves a lot of gold. Especially fusions. Especially fusions, okay? Especially fusions later on. The notepad is plus plus. Common question, what app is this? Notepad plus plus. Yeah, knowledge transfer. A lot of people don't know about knowledge transfer. Knowledge transfer, that's like basically a story skip or alts. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, guys.